this video we're going to look at simple file operations with Excel. First we've got to get Excel started. Here I'm looking at my desktop. There are no Excel icons on the taskbar or on the uh, desktop itself. I have to access Excel from the start button. I have uh, uh, an icon for Excel on my list of favorite programs and I can also access it by clicking on all programs and then selecting Microsoft Office and within Microsoft Office selecting Excel. In this case we're looking at the 2010 version of Excel. So let me click on that and it starts up. It's opened up in full screen mode and it's opened up a new Excel workbook. The book has the name Book 1. That's the default name that's used whenever a new um, spreadsheet has been created. <coughs> so the first thing we might think of doing is changing the name and saving uh, the workbook uh, so that we uh, will be able to access it in the future. To do that, that save, I'm going to click on the File button and then I'm going to click on Save As. And then I'm going to choose a name. Let's call it My File. And then I'm going to choose where I'm going to save it. So I could save it amongst any of these uh, uh, folders. But let's just save this one on the desktop. So I'll click on the desktop and then click Save. And uh, if I now minimize uh, Excel, I'll see that that file has been created and now exists on the desktop. I could now make some changes to the file. So I'll add some uh, numbers in, in, in the cells or some cells, four, five, six. I want to save it again in this new amended uh, form. I just do File, Save click on save here. That saved it, still under the name My File. The quicker way of doing it, which I can't show you on the screen, is just to hold the control button down and press S on your keyboard. So control and S is another way of doing a quick save. Once we're finished, we then can uh, exit from Excel and you can do that by clicking on the exit button on the top right which can also be accessed by clicking on File and Exit uh, on the left-hand column of the File ribbon. So let me do that. And that's us finished with this session of Excel. We've created a file, we've amended it, and we've closed the session down.